And so Oxmute is a gallery within Portland Art Museum. The name derives from actually the, the essence of sound, so the idea of giving the ox to people whose stories have been muted historically. Growing up, I sort of started to identify with the culture of sport, the culture of fashion, streetwear culture, um, just to find identity within that. I'm Sarah Melinda Sabino. Um, I am a designer and an artist living in Portland, Oregon. I would say my nine to five is a footwear designer. My five to nine is an artist. What's amazing about Portland, I think, is the mix of culture as well as nature. And I fell in love with Portland. I fell in love with space. It felt like a big enough city where I could, you know, have the resources to do what I wanted to do. I was raised by a single mom, and um, I was babysat a lot. And the one thing that was consistent was I could bring my sketchbook. Um, so I try to find a way to kind of make one world out of everything that I always loved. I really love to, you know, hike behind the Japanese garden um, or go up to some of the waterfalls and, and kind of take nature walks there to really clear your mind. Um, but it's also so rich in culture in terms of small pockets of places that have really unique stories. Um, a friend of mine, Ian, he created Dead Stock Coffee. I love to go hang out there, get a drink, but also just mingle with, with people that are outside and really just spend a while there. Now, like being a creative, my work is really about identity in itself and about um, the human experience within identity. And these prints are representing kind of inspiration from Arabic movie posters, as well as teaching tools um, about learning the language of Arabic. And there's actually a Moroccan rug shop called Cat and Mouse. I always go in there and spend like lots of time looking at the carpets, but also hearing stories about, you know, the indigenous Berber tribes of, of Morocco. There's three <laughs> really fun things to do is look at art, <laughs> go shopping, and eat food. When I was asked to come move out here for a job, and I was, it was a no-brainer. Portland was a place I knew was gonna be a part of my journey.